Yeah, what you got there? She will get the zoomies and she loves to play chase. My cat will run back and forth and take turns chasing each other. You can't have her food. She loves playing with tennis balls and she will somersault over them and kick them with her back feet. She's got a big personality for a little creature. Owning a skunk has been something that I've wanted since I was seven, eight years old. I got her through a chain of rescuers that do skunk rescues. So she was born into captivity and as a result would never be able to be released into the wild. <laughs> she fit in just the palm of my hand. She was super tiny. When I brought Takoa home, I put her on the ground by Nola. I was very close to monitor just in case her predator instincts were there. She was a little uncertain of what this creature was. <laughs> but Takoa wedged herself in between the wall and the cardboard box getting to Nola. So I had her in one room of the house but she was very gentle. And just as Takoa got a little older and became more playful and independent, that's when Nola started to engage and play with her a little more. So if I sit on the couch or lay on the floor, Nola will come right up and she'll join us. So we'll all take a little nap or watch TV and they've been fine ever since. I take them for walks together. I go to parks and nature preserves and I walk them both on a leash. So I get a lot of stares. And of course, people come up and ask to take photos and see if they could pet them. So that's been pretty fun to see. It's almost like watching an older sister with a younger sister. It is definitely an animal that needs a lot of time and attention. So I'm very fortunate with that. I'm able to provide that time. I love her to bits and pieces. I'm very grateful and thankful she's in my life. <laughs> 